first thing I'll do is just demonstrate what we're shooting for here. So I've got a base version of uh, the tutorial uh, and this is pretty much as it comes from Victor's original project, that one there. And then I have uh, the final version which includes my scripting. So let's have a look at that final target. This is the thing that we're trying to get to and uh, we'll see how this runs. Just try and fire this up in Xcode. So let's see what that looks like. Just running this up on the simulator right now. Okay, so we've got a dragon here. Uh, one of my little improvements is I added in the uh, cheat mode. You can see going on at the bottom there where I've added in some extra coins to make it easier. Now see these guys on the left? Uh, they were actually chasing us when I first started up the game. There they go now, chasing us. Ah, uh, no, don't die, little dragon. Ah, oh, I suck. Alright, so they're going to chase us and kill us off. So I'll let the dragon die down at the bottom of the screen. Now that cheat mode, um, I put that in there just to kind of give a demonstration of something. But um, it, it provides a way of just making the game easier. Okay, so we start a new game. Let's see if I can avoid these initial bombs. There we go. Oh. Alright, so fly little dragon. He's going to get up to the top of the screen. Okay, now the top of the screen, see we've got that lurker bomb. He is actually a guy who starts anywhere on the screen and actually pursues you uh, by So let's see if I can just avoid... Ah, no! Alright, so... Getting up to the top of the screen. Uh, the second of the two kinds of monsters, you've seen the ones that actually pursue you at the beginning. The second guy, he hangs out near that final coin that I have to reach and chases us when we uh, try to get to the final coin. So. Uh, that's a whole new kind of monster. Alright, okay, I think we've seen enough of how bad I am at playing video games. And uh, let's just have a look at how we get to this final point of being able to add in these scripts. So we'll just close out that particular Xcode project. Now what I've done, as I mentioned before, to get to this point is I've taken Victor Lidholt's excellent Cocos Builder uh, Dragon Tute and added in uh, some music, some sound effects. I've ported it to the iPad uh, and I've also um, uh, added in that cheat mode. But apart from that, the uh, monsters in this one uh, do not have uh, that additional behavior. So let's just have a look at what we get by default uh, with the original project monster behavior. I'll just open this guy up here. Okay, so let's run this one. Uh, as you'll see if you check out the GitHub project, you can get to this point by basically downloading, uh, at least going to Safari or whatever your web browser is, accessing the original tutorial and uh, just uh, following through the tutorial, building on top of a basic checkout of a, um, a Cocos 2D template. So that's the recipe for this. It's basically a raw Cocos 2D with uh, Victor's tutorial uh, added in on top and then obviously I've added in some extra stuff so that's where we are and uh, let's see what this one looks like okay I'm going up through my coins here now notice this time 
our bombs are, are not chasing us at all. These are very dumb monsters. Uh, they've got no smarts, no AI or anything. And, uh, you know, they, don't, they know that I've got to try to get to this end coin to win the game. But uh, they're not even chasing us up here because they've got no uh, intelligence built in. So uh, that's uh, what we're going to add in now. We're going to add in uh, some scripting uh, source into our, our little game here to try to actually spruce it up and make it, make it a lot harder to actually complete. All right, All right. so the first step in getting uh, Lua integrated into your game is uh, just simply to go to whatever your web browser is. Lua is available from their website. It's under an open source uh, BSD style license. You want the uh, source files here, not the binaries. Don't choose those. Just grab the source from here. All right, so uh, once you've got uh, Lua downloaded, um, you just want to expand it out. And uh, first thing we want to do is just re- uh, change this folder name to something sensible. It's going to look good in your project. Uh, then we want to <coughs> get rid of um, a couple of the source files. This one here is the Lua command line interpreter. Uh, we, don't, we don't need that because we're going to embed Lua into our project. So we'll just delete that. And uh, the other one I want to delete is the Lua byte compiler. Uh, this takes raw text files and compiles them down to bytecodes. But um, the issue with this is that on mobile devices there are some portability problems. So we're going to work purely with text-based uh, files. If you want to have, uh, you know, build all these Lua tools separately, by all means take a duplicate of the Lua uh, checkout that you have here, go through, run the make file and get a clean build of all the Lua tool set so you can have the command line tools. But for the purposes of copying it into your project, you are going to need to remove those files. And the reason why is that uh, they have a main uh, defined. So the main function would clash with whatever was in your project. The last file that we want to delete is just this make file right here. So I'll just delete that. So that was three files, lua.c, luac.c, and the make file. Okay, so the final step is just to copy uh, that folder over into our project. So we're going to add it to our main uh, Xcode target here, and we've got Lua compiling inside of our project. Obviously, it's really not doing very much for us.